Hey, and welcome to Katie Plays Stuff. Um, so today I'm just gonna get back to Majora's Mask, and we will start playing. Okay, so now we are human again, we are Link, and we have to go outside and see what's next on our adventure of getting the Majora's Mask. That mask. The Skull Kid uses the power of that mask to do those terrible things. Well, whatever it takes, we've gotta do something about it. The swamp, mountains, ocean, and canyon that Tail was trying to tell us about? I bet he was referring to the four areas just outside town. There's one in each compass direction. But what do you suppose the, he meant by the four who were there? I have no idea. He always esca escapes important stuff. I guess we should just go and find out. If we go through the gate straight ahead, we'll be heading in the direction of the swamp. So pretty much Tail told us, um that we need to go to the four different areas around town and bring back the one that is there. We don't know what that even means, um, but that's hopefully going to take us to finding the Majora's Mask later on. So, um, another thing, if you play the Song of Time, which we just learned backwards, it will slow down time. Um, so you'll find out that this game is very timed, like, you gotta get stuff done before the moon falls. Um, so slowing down the current flow of time makes that so much easier. Okay, so before we go straight to the swamp, as you can see, everything is slowed down, it's like so slow right now, which is great. Um, before we go to the swamp, we need to go see the Great Fairy, because she said that when we are transformed back into our normal self, to go see her. Ugh. <laughs> As you can see, um, she's not here. Young one, please hear my plea, I've been broken and shattered. So, I mean, this is this is a good example of what the game is going to do to you. Every time you play the Song of Time, you need it. It will it goes back in time the three days. So everything that we just did, like five seconds ago, everything we did as the Deku Scrub didn't happen at all. So Jim, this little boy right here, is still trying to shoot the balloon, and he can't get to it, and. Like, everything that just happened, it's gone. And it's all started over. So that means that the Great Fairy is not back, and we need to go and get that, um, get that little fairy piece again. I really shouldn't be stopping and telling you exactly what's going on every two seconds, because I don't really have a lot of time. It's almost seven o'clock and we have a lot to get done in these three days. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. I get so serious when I'm playing these games, because Majora's Mask is my favorite thing in the world. <clears throat> but the Zelda games, I just, I get so serious when I play them, and it's just really embarrassing. So it's going to be very different from my other videos, because my other videos I'm swearing and being stupid and making jokes, and in this game I'm like, I'm so into it. It's really weird. Okay. Tattle, and you, kind young one, thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. I am the great fairy of magic. For now, this is all I can offer you. Allow me to ease your weariness as my token of gratitude. So this bitch doesn't even know that we already met her, and we already know who she is, but she's introducing herself again because to her it never even happened. Like, how cool is that? Oh, kind young one, scattered throughout the four temples of this land are broken stray fairies like me. Please find a way to save them and return them to their fountains. Surely they will add to your strength. Allow me to grant you something good so the stray fairies will not fear you. So 
so she just gave us this really disgusting mask that looks just like her face. And every time you wear it, one of those little fairies that we just got in the laundry pool will just come flying at you. And you don't have to go and catch it. Come see me whenever your quest has made you weary. So that's pretty cool. <clears throat> Alright, so let's get this heart piece right here up in the tree that we couldn't reach before. Ooh, okay. This is not gonna be a good start to today. Come on, come on. I can do this, I can do this. When I was little, this was the worst thing in the world, which is really not that hard. Come on, come on. It's also a little bit harder than I'm playing on a uh, Xbox controller. Okay. I'm doing it! I'm doing it! Alright, one more little piece and then we'll have another heart. If that just, like, gave you any clue of how the rest of this video is gonna go, it's not gonna be good. So these little owl statues, um, if you're playing the actual game, if you hit one of these, you can save your progress on the owl statue. But, um, since I'm playing on an emulator, I can just save whenever I want. Stop right there! Have you some errand in the swamp? Actually, yes. It is dangerous outside the town wall, so I cannot allow a child like you to... A sword? My apologies, sir. It was wrong of me to treat you like a child. That's what I thought. The southern swamp at Woodfall lies in this direction. Be careful. You know, I relate to Link. I do. Because he looks like a little kid, but he's a... He's a swords master. And I look like a little kid, and I'm actually 21 years old. So, I relate. So this is Termina, outside town. Um, the swamp lies in this direction, and that is where we'll be going. Apparently, because that's where Tail told us to go. Let's go! Oh, I remember this. Tail and I drew this with the Skull Kid when we first met him. He told us that he had been fighting with his friends and that they had left him all alone. And this is the story of the Skull Kid. so sweet. It's like me and my cats only, not really, because my cats hate me. I drew that picture. So he used to be good. I'm sure it was because he was always playing tricks, so nobody wanted to play with him. But to do what he did, to just because, but to do what he did, just because of that.
once he got his power. So the Skull Kid went bad. Okay, so this is the way that leads to the swamp. So now that we have this mask, I can change into the Deku scrub whenever I want to. Okay, now we have four hearts. So exciting. Let's keep going. I'd buy a map right now. Uh, the guy floating in the balloon, his name is Tingle. And we're about to meet his father. And he is that guy, and he's dressed in a costume, and he sells you maps. Um, I don't need one right now, but I'll buy one when I come back. Southern Swamp! I don't know why I'm doing this, I don't need any money right now. Just wasting time. Blimey, where is he? That spoiled child is off playing hooky again. A child his age has no business searching for fairies. Oh. Ahem, welcome. Well then, why don't you show me that pictograph you've taken? I don't have a pictobox. Huh? Is this your first time entering the pictograph contest? Well, the Swamp Tourist Center is currently holding a pictograph contest. It's open to all ages, from children to adults. For nice pictographs taken in the swamp, a free boat cruise will be awarded as a special prize. So, would you like to enter our contest? Yeah, why not? But to enter, you must take the boat cruise. Boat cruise reservations are handled at the window over there. If you're interested, go for a ride. So I'd like to join. Might as well come over here. Old Coems Co. I never know how to pronounce this. Coems uh, boat cruise. Ticket office closed. Please inquire at the Magic Hags Post and Shop near the edge of the swamp. So. If we want to join that contest, we have to go to the potion shop. So these lily pads are meant here in case you happen to be a Deku scrub and you want to hop a lot faster because you will drown in the water. I think it's just easier because you're not swimming the whole time. There's the potion shop! <laughs> Tee hee hee, welcome! My potions work very well, they do. Are you by chance a boat cruise customer? How unfortunate! Colm has gone into the woods out back, looking for mushrooms. Hmm, now that I think about it, she's a bit late coming back. Say, could you go find her for me? Hmm, yes, it's it's easy getting lost in those woods. Ask the monkeys that live there. Alright. So, we can't join the boat cruise until we find Colm, uh, that witch woman. 
So let's go ask the monkeys. Hmm, follow me. Okay, monkey, let's do that. So in this part of the game, we are literally following this monkey through the woods. And he tries to play tricks on you, and he goes different directions, and it's really annoying. <laughs> Ah! It's not what I meant to do. Oh my god, it's her! Help me! I was just busy minding my own business, picking mushrooms, when BAM! I got hit from behind. That pesky skull kid, did he think it'd be an old hag wouldn't recognize him if he hit his face? Oh, ow. To think, he's that powerful, and now I can't even move? You. Don't you have anything that gives you energy? Well, no. Ugh, what is this? You're no help. I say, you're not at all what you make yourself out to be. What did I make myself out to be? Okay, so we don't have anything to help her, obviously, so let's go tell her sister. And I just, I think the, uh, I think we go a lot faster when I'm playing as the, um, Deku Scrub. So I like to run around as him, because he moves a lot faster to me. I don't know, he's probably running the same, the same speed. Oops. Can't walk today. Hmm, now that's a problem. Oh, <laughs> they only sell potions to humans. I am human! Welcome! My potions work very well, they do. <laughs> What's that? The Skull Kid got to Koum? That's ridiculous! If it's just the Skull Kid, then what harm could we possibly do? Oh, well if that's true, then take this potion to her. This isn't good. We got a bottle! Alright, let's take this potion to her. And, in the process, we got a bottle, which is pretty exciting, because we get to keep it after. Sorry, was that a spoiler? We get to keep the bottle. I'm sorry I told you. And it was a huge secret. Alright, let's follow this monkey again through the... The woods. I think this way, right? This way. And... Ah! This way. And this way. That color, that smell, that's definitely Kotake's. This woman is so creepy looking. Ooh, I feel the energy flow! Komom is revived! You saved me! I'm the Swamp Tour Guide. I run the boat cruise, so come by if you want a free ride. Alright, well, let's go get a free ride, huh? You have strange powers, no? Me been watching you. Lately, this swamp filled with poison water. Temple above waterfall strange. Brother go to temple. But brother no able to find temple entrance. Temple for Deku only. Brother captured by Deku, now in palace. Help! Okay, so according to the monkeys, their brother was captured by some Deku people at the palace, and he wants help. And can I really say no to this monkey? No, I can't. 
Hey, look who's sitting in here. That knows. Oh, thanks for what you did back there. And a special deal just for you, I'll let you take this cruise for free. Ah, yes. We've got a special going on right now, so we're giving this out for free. I got a pictograph box! That's a camera. If you take a nice picture from the boat, take it to that fellow over there. Alright, the boat's leaving. Okay, so now we're going on this boat for no reason. Might as well get out my camera in case we see something interesting to take a picture of. I'm so bad at taking pictures on this boat because it just it goes a little bit too fast for me. I can't I can't take the picture. So beautiful. On a cruise through the poison water. That is an Octo? Is that what they're called? Octo? Crap! I pressed A at the exact same time that I hit it. Darn it! Next time. I'm so mad. There's that monkey. Now arriving at the Deku Palace. The swamp water is poisonous here, so please watch your step. Okay, so I guess we're going to the Deku Palace. I think what I'm going to do is stop it right here. And, um, because we're already, we're taking up a lot of time, so I'll make one video of this one, and then the next place we'll go to is the Deku Palace, and then off to the temple the first temple of the game. So that's pretty exciting. So thanks for watching and see you soon.